My name is Sergio Wilson. I'm from Suriname. My name is Sack Kaponga, the Black Spider. I'm going to try to make more points than him, and if he makes the wrong move, I'm going to try to take his head off. <laughs> Being in Milan is great because there's a lot of fashion and there's a lot of culture. But the first thing that's supposed to happen is somebody needs to get an ass kick, then we can do some shopping. I'm from Italy, I'm from Milan. I want to do a lot for my fans. Thank you. to the glory ring. This then proves that dynamite does indeed come in small packages with explosive power. Please welcome Sergio Wilson. He comes from the Sorry. Fight Factory Carbine in Amsterdam, Holland. Sergio Wilson is ranked number 13 at the featherweight division, which is 143 pounds. Wilson uh, doesn't like nicknames at all, and he's a uh, former and first time ever. It's Showtime 61 Max World Champion. Originally from Suriname, Sergio moved to the Netherlands and then became involved in the Dutch Muay Thai scene and earned his status there by taking care of business inside the ring. Wilson is it a very explosive fighter. Watch for him to punch hard and kick low. Really an energetic fighter, very aggressive. Sometimes he says he's too aggressive. His opponent is a former Thailand Fighter of the Year, who can also claim champion of the famed Lumpini Stadium in Bangkok, Thailand. Ladies and gentlemen, Sak Kaponlek. The word legend gets bandied about quite a bit in the fight game, but this man here is a true legend. Former Lumpini Stadium champion, former Roger Donham Stadium champion, former Thai national champion. And Kaponlek, he just loves to fight. And he could have retired a long time ago. He said that after winning Fighter of the Year, he was forced to have no fights for an entire year because they couldn't find anybody to face him. Who's gonna face him? He's got 380 fights. You know, Ty's turned pro, uh, turned pro pretty young. It's their national sport. Usually by 25, you got 100 fights or so. But 380, that's amazing. Let's take, uh, Wilson appears to be a serious underdog as we look at the tail. Kapalnik is heavier, he's taller, and he's got 380 fights. It's just extraordinary. All right, Milano, introducing first the fighter standing on my right. He'll fight from the blue corner. He was the first ever in Showtime 61 match world champion. He's got a professional record of 37 wins, eight losses, two draws. 21 of those wins coming by way of knockout. Standing 1.70 meters, weighing in at 64.6 kilograms. Fighting out of Suriname by way of Amsterdam. Please welcome Sergio Wilson. His opponent tonight, opposite the ring and fighting from the red corner, a true Muay Thai living legend with an unbelievable professional record of 340 wins, 40 losses, 180 knockouts. He stands 1.74 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at 65.1 kilograms. Fighting out of Thailand, ladies and gentlemen, suck! The Black Spider, Cal Pondland! Your referee for this contest, Stefan Valenti. No, the rules. No, I have three seconds. I have to finish, right? To the corner, please. And I had mentioned that Kaponlek was Lumpini Stadium champion. And for those of you that were puzzled when I said that, that's basically the mecca of Muay Thai. That's the top of the line. That's the Super Bowl. That's the World Cup of Thai boxing. Now, when it comes to Thai fighters, very few people can touch Kaponlek. Like, remember, we don't have, this is not traditional Thai. There's no elbows and there's no clinching. It could be a disadvantage. Yeah, because he's going to have to be thinking and look at 
beginning some uh, crazy breakdancing moves here. A little twister action. Probably like in a southpaw stance. Wheels oh. with a nice right high kick. Flies in after Kaponlak. He hit him with the right leg and the right hand. Thing is, a lot of Thai fighters, they start slow because they give away the first two rounds because most of the Muay Thai fights are five rounds, but Kaponlak is feeling the heat from wheels in early on here in the first. Kaponlak slipping a jab, throwing a left hook. Beautiful counter. Wheels in with a nice left hook counter there. Wheels in says he sees a weakness in Sock when he punches the body with the left hand. He often keeps the right, it often keeps his right hand low and he exposes his head to the kick. Kaponlek fading back, trying to stay away from that head kick. And the thing is, that left roundhouse kick of a Kapan leg, that's gonna, that's gonna hurt after a while. So fast. Oh, beautiful body work. Right, left to the body, and then a kick. Kapan leg, like many Thai fighters, after he throws a combination, always adjusts the waistband on his shorts. Kapan leg with a, an attempted left high kick, which missed. Kapanlak is kind of pity patting his way in with hands. And Wilson is just winging in with hands. Oh, can't do that. Can't land a knee on a downed opponent, but Kapanlak missed. There's that wow. left kick by Kapanlak. You know Wilson is going to feel that. Oh, a knee straight up the middle. Oh, that's no good. Ouch. Yeah, that's the danger of throwing knees down the center. Especially off combinations. And our referee warns Wilson to be careful with that oh. weapon. Wilson is really having a problem finding his footing here in round number one. He's swinging and he's kicking awful hard. It seems to be taking him out of balance. It's like a whirling dervish. See that? Yeah. I mean, he throws that punch with so much power. Too bad it missed. He almost knocks himself to the ground. There it is again. It's that overhand right he keeps throwing and missing with. Where Kaponlek, nice little sweet knee up the middle. Great first round. Well, Wheels and started off with a bang. And uh, he just was explosive and quick. Kicking high, kicking low, spinning around. We had a little twister action come out. But there was a nice right kick to the head, followed by a right hand by Wheels. And that was the first real damage in this fight. The phone leg, though, staying confident, keeping in range, and keeping that body kick going. Looks like the judges have a split opinion, but it will go to the blue Second corner top. wheels and we'll take that round three judges to two so it looked like that damage from that uh flying head kick and all the pressure that wheels was putting impressed the judges round, two. round number two wheels in the black gloves and kaponlek in the red oh kaponlek with a massive Left kick to the body. There it is again. Kaponlek trying to chop to the body with that right hand, but Wilson stays right in his face. Oh, he walked right into that. He walked right into, he walked right into a massive left uppercut. That, that's not some, that's not, that's not good body language right there. Six, seven, eight, okay. All that forward motion by wheels and compounded that punch. Wilson has to be very careful of that straight left hand of Kaponlek. And it grazed his chin just a second ago. 
Capone like with that left hand again. Oh no. Oh, another low blow here via the knee strike. Wheels and will have up to five minutes to recover, and he's fine. Bonelak ripping that left kick. And he's being very aggressive in this round. And I, I, I like the fact that we have the three second clinch rule because Kaponlek will benefit from that because he's really, really good, as you would think, being from Thailand. Oh, oh right hook to the body by Kaponlek. We talk about Muay Thai and kickboxing being attrition based sport. You beat up that body, and all your energy, all your power goes right out the window. Yeah. Oh, nice knee to the body by Kaponlek. Well, Frank, Kaponlek is definitely beating up the body of Wilson so far in this round with a little bit less than one minute left. Yeah, and he seems to have shut down the hands of Wilson by kicking that body really hard. Oh, boy. It was ruled a slip, but it was a kick that landed upon the arms that was blocked. Oh. It's that left roundhouse kick, I'm telling you. It's it a just thing killed of him. Yeah. With 380 fights, he must have thrown that thing at least 380 million times. Come on, let's fight. Come on. Let's fight. Italian ref says no rest for the wicked. Get back out there. Apparently not, and there's the knees, and down goes Wheelsen. It is a knee knockdown to the body. Wheelsen in trouble here near the end Four. of round number two. Five. Can Capone Six. Lake finish the Seven. job? Eight. Okay. Up your back. Fight. There's the push kick and the knees oh. once again. Kaponlek raging after Wilson here at the end of round number two. Kaponlek starting to really come on in this round. You saw his experience starting to come out every time wheels and move forward. Bam! Counter left hook. Every time he moved forward, he was kicking the body. He really caught him right there on the chin. Look at he's just loaded up on that right hook to the body. Massive power punch. And those kicks, that one sent wheels and flying. Yeah, it did because wheels and blocked it, but he still went down. And that knee knockdown. Oh, that's a crushing thing because now. Sack knows the body is tender. He's going to go right after that. And the judges say, Whoa. Kaponek is running away with this match. Yes, he is. Wheelsen might have gotten a split in that first round, but 10-7 in the second round, Wheelsen has got to do some significant damage, get at least a, a knockdown or two to get back into this fight. But I, the problem is, is that... Sack Kaponlek has been able to hurt Wilson, and Wilson hasn't hurt the TIE fighter. Oh, that right yeah. head kick would have been a nasty weapon. It, that, see that knee up the middle? Oh. Beautiful. Kaponlek is standing on the outside, moving the kicks out of the way and bringing knees right back inside. And Frank, you've seen guys that have like 50, 70 fights, and they get burned out. But this guy's had 380 fights. I don't see him being burned out at all. No. Well, well, we know who's king of the clinch in this fight. And Wilson gets another clinch. Oh, nice chopping wow. left hand by Kaponlek and a good right knee. Yeah, that knee is money. Kaponlek switches. Your head. Two minutes left here in round number three. Of this epic battle between Kaponlek in the red gloves and Wilson in the black. Wow. Oh, Kaponlek comes in and does some serious damage, and Wilson goes down. That secondary yeah. knee that's coming up the center is really Fight. devastating. It's getting Wilson in the thigh, it's getting him in the hip. There's that knee again. You're watching Glory 7 Milan. I'm Steven Quadros alongside Frank Shamrock. Please join us on the internet at gloryworldseries.com. And if you tweet, we're on Twitter at glory underscore WS. Stop. Stop. 
Dos strike after stop fight. Wilson looked like he was gonna start some punching and then backed away and got paid for it. Oh. Got Pong like just teeing off on him. Yeah. Wheelsen looking slippery on his feet. Yeah, Kaponlek all over Wheelsen. 20 seconds left. Wheelsen hanging on. He's being dominated here. He's, getting, he's just getting beat up. Inside out, he's getting beat up. And it doesn't help that he's falling down and you know taking some of these drops like this because it just looks terrible to the judges. It really does. So there we have the end of round number three. Who do you think won that fight? I Please think. tweet us, and uh, we're at this fight or any of the fights from tonight are hashtag glory then number seven. That's hashtag glory seven. Seemed like complete domination there at the end. Yeah. And these last two rounds were murder for wheels. And if there be any consolation, he did go the distance. I doubt we're going to a fourth overtime round. No, I don't think so. Capone like just feeling it so well in the third round. Every single punch, combination of punch or secondary strike was landing. And uh, you know, like we talked, Wilson just you know, kind of falling down and really acquiescing to the position. It didn't look good. It didn't look strong. And we have a result. Let's find out who won. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we send it to the judges' scorecard. They give us back a score. 147, 128, your winner in the red corner, Sock Capone! He sure did, that's experience in your pocket. He really did and he lives here in Italy, loves the country, and the, the Italians are on their feet waiting to him. Come over here. Sack Capone, like we definitely want to see him back here in the featherweight division at 143 pounds. Great job.